I have a box. In this box should be my Ranger's Apprentice book. I am so excited. If you didn't know, Ranger's Apprentice is a personality trait. And so is struggling to opening open boxes, apparently. This is this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Look at it. Look at it. I guess I should introduce what I'm doing today. Mm. Hello, I'm Cass. Um, and like I said earlier, Ranger's Apprentice is my all-time favorite book series basically a personality trait at this point and in today's video I'll be reading books four and five of the Rural Ranger series. Now I've already read book four but that was over a year ago and this is kind of a part one and this is part two so I want to just read them back to back for it's like just one big continuation. I am so freaking excited and I thought it would be like a little fun reading vlog sort of deal so that is what we're gonna do. So I'm on the floor and I don't usually read on the floor and I'm wearing shoes in my room and I don't usually wear shoes in my room, but one, it's cold because it's kind of a rainy day outside. And so it's a little chilly in here. And I'm on the floor because I woke up really freaking early to go get coffee with my friend. Um, and I'm not a morning person, so I'm tired and it's like 10.30 in the morning. Like this is when I wake up. I woke up at like 6.30 this morning. So I'm a little tired, but it's fine, it's fine. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the fourth book. And I don't know, if other people are like this, but I don't like reading with the um, dust cover on, so I always take that off. But yeah. Um, also, this vlog will obviously contain spoilers because I'll be talking about my thoughts and my feelings. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, get started on to reading. I'm so excited. I mean, I've already read this one, but I'm excited to read this one to then get to the next one. So anyway, I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> Okay, so I've read two chapters. I need a bookmark. Hold, please. So I have my bookmark jar here. Um, what are we feeling? Do we want to do a bougie bookmark? Like a fancy? I don't. I don't think I've ever used this before. How does this even work? Do you just like? Wait, no, that's adorable. Okay, I picked our bookmark for today. It is clank though, it's kind of annoying. But I'm going to take a break because I am so tired. I am not built to function this early in the morning. All right, update time. I have read a grand total of zero pages since the last time I was vlogging. Instead, I took a fat nap because <laughs> I was complaining that I was tired and I was actually very tired. So I went and took like a two and a half hour nap. <laughs> but I feel better now and I feel very ready to read. I moved. So I was over here sitting on my carpet, um, but now I'm by my desk. I have the How to Train Your Dragon soundtrack about to be played. And I myself am in the corner with my boy Lupin. Uh, I never got around to actually hanging up that frame. So yeah, I'm just gonna chill here, listen to the soundtrack and actually read. <laughs> Unlike what I've done for the past like two and a half hours. <laughs> I keep changing positions, but I cannot sit still for the life of me. I don't know why. I went from like super tired to like just not being able to like sit still. I I just have to read more of um, Maddie and Will's bantering. I love it. Do you have to break it? Maddie asked. That's a good shaft. <laughs> Will shook his head at her lack of sympathy. Spare a thought for our poor friend here. It'll be less painful if we break it off. Otherwise, I'd have to pull the whole thing through. Who cares about less painful, she said. That's a good shaft. <laughs> Will made a tut-tutting noise and shook his head and looked at Jem. Young people can be so cruel. This is why I smile so much while reading these books. Just the dialogue is so top tier. And I just love the sarcasm all the freaking time. I just... 
<laughs> it makes me so happy. So I just finished chapter 15 and that is when Maddie first performs and it is such a cute little scene with her like performing and acting and stuff and it's just so different from her usual like persona of being like a serious ranger and stuff and instead of being like a cheerful knight thrower slash juggler and the entire sequence of how it's laid out and how she performs is like so cute and I don't know I could like actually sort of imagine it in my head. I went to the Renaissance Festival earlier this year and there were some people doing some really cool stuff and it kind of reminded me of that. It gave me the same vibe and it made me very happy. So yeah. <laughs> you will address me as your majesty. <laughs> will shake his head. No sir, that's a form of address I reserve for my own king. Boom roasted. time. So there's a section in the book where Maddie encounters a beggar, page 240, and he calls out in Gaelic. Now, obviously, I don't know what exactly he says because I don't speak Gaelic. And after she gives him coins, he says, thank you, miss. Um, she'd gone another 10 paces before it raged with her that he had used a common tongue, not Gaelic, which he had used when he had first spoke to her, yet she hadn't spoken or given him any reason to believe she wasn't Gallican. And then... It goes on to say that, and there had been something vaguely familiar about him. She turned quickly to look back at him, but there was no sign of the blue and white cloaked figure. Now, blue and white cloaked figure, something familiar. Earlier in the book, Duncan was talking about sending Halt or asking about where Halt was. So I 100% believe that that beggar is actually Halt in disguise. And since I know what happens at the end of this book, which is um, Maddie and Will's capture, I am willing to bet that Halt is going to rescue them and I'm so excited because it has been, we've never actually gotten, never mind, we've never gotten a Will, Maddie, Halt interaction. And the next book might be the first book where we get that interaction. Like we've gotten like Will, Maddie, Halt interaction like in a casual manner but not on a mission. So I am so excited. And we have come to my least favorite part of these books, which is this stupid to be continued um and i read those words over a year ago but now i have well i don't have it in my hand hold please <laughs> but now <laughs> i own the fifth book therefore i can continue the to be continued however i'm putting a pause to that and i'm going to go and eat some and then i thought that i take that opportunity to actually sketch a little more. I will show you what I've been working on. Um, just because it kind of fits the theme of Ranger's Apprentice. Let me, let me set you down here. I recently got an iPad and I have been learning how to use Procreate because I've used Photoshop to design all my other stickers. And if you don't know, I have a sticker shop and I actually have some Ranger's Apprentice themed things on there. And I'm working on a, another sort of, that's a little better, but it is weapons that are inspired sort of by ranged apprentice so we have a bow an axe a sword and a mason chain and i plan on doing a dagger a spear a double-sided axe and some arrows the house is empty right now and i thought i'd take that opportunity to actually leave my room and i'm actually having some youtube play on the tv and then i'm going to draw got my ipad in my lap here and i'm just gonna watch tv eat some chips and yes, these are chopsticks because I eat my chips with chopsticks. That way my fingers don't get all gross when I'm trying to also draw. So, a little life hack for you. Please remain patient before we return to our regular scheduled content of reading Royal Ranger. <laughs> I'm starting this. Finally, I am... So excited. Have I mentioned that I'm excited? I don't think I have mentioned it enough. So yeah, I'm very excited. And yeah, I'm just gonna sit down, start reading it, I'll pause and update you whenever I have thoughts. <laughs> oh goodness, this is interesting. So the Baron, oh my God, I'm gonna butcher these names so hard. Lissigny, 
he's basically figuring that the rangers are mercenaries and i bet they're gonna be hired to try to like either kill philip or the brother depending on who betrayed who i would expect i think lewis my camera battery died anyways like i was saying prince i think it was prince lewis or louise and then king philip i think those are the names i might have got them as whatever but one of those had to be the one that betrayed maddie and will and then the other one is going to be the one that baron dude listen 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 bro i don't even want to try the bitch baron <laughs> i think he's gonna try to hire them as mercenaries um to kill one of them i don't know which one i don't know where this is going it's gonna be very interesting though so i shall continue <laughs> I was right. I was right. I was right. So, um, yep, beggar is definitely Holt. So, I was correct. Very excited about that. And there's another person with him, and I'm not sure who it. I think it might be Gillen, because Gillen's often described as being tall when it says the tall man. And so I'm assuming it's Gillen. I don't think Horace would come. He's the only other person I could think of that could be tall. But Gillen's also the head ranger. So I didn't think that made sense either, but it could be because Halt and Gillen has worked together in the past before since Gillen was Halt's apprentice. But I'm about to find out because it just I just turned the page and it says three weeks prior. So Okay, I'm like one page into chapter. 10 and I realized I was wrong. It's probably not Gillen. It definitely is probably horse because they're both summoned by the king. So anyway, continue. <laughs> so you want the two of us to besiege this castle and capture it, Halt said with a wry smile. I love him. <laughs> I've never agreed with Duncan more. He says, I hate politics. Me too, Duncan. Me too. <laughs> have missed having new character interactions like this. Like, Duncan tells them you can pose as a traveling knight and his serving man. And Horace asks, which one am I? <laughs> halt, you can pose as a Hibernian. I am a Hibernian, sir. <laughs> this book, oh my gosh. This entire interaction right here. This entire interaction right here. I'm literally like getting a little emotional over this bit. Literally, it's been 20 seconds since the last clip, but Horse says the two of us in Gallica be like old times Halt. Halt's eyebrows went up again. Oh, I do hope not, he said. Because, oh my god, this is like a throwback all the way to the beginning of the Range the Apprentice series. Literally, book three. This just makes my heart so freaking happy. I cannot. I can't. I'm back after two pages. <laughs> I am enjoying this book so much. Oh my gosh. So Horace is introducing Halt to Jens, and Jens is the squirrel of the wolf ship on duty, which is Wolf Tail. Jens Wave Chaser, this is my friend Halt. Jens became even more interested when he heard the name Halt. Aren't you the ranger who <laughs> threw up in your <laughs> Over Jarl's helmet, Halt cut in. That's me. I'll warn the crew about you. Some of the younger ones might have not heard that story. <laughs> also, a callback to the earlier bits in the series. I do want to um, go back to my previous thoughts on um, L L L Bro, I cannot say his name. Lasignes? Lasignes? Plans on recruiting them as mercenaries. I was like, they're gonna be recruited to murder the prince or the king. And I'm like, they wouldn't be hired to just straight up murder a guy in cold blood. So I, I take back that previous thought because I forgot that I'm not reading an adult fantasy right now. <laughs> Freaking Horace just mispronouncing the bitchy baron's name as Lasserboo. I was tempted to now call him that throughout the entirety of this vlog, but I kind of like the ring of bitchy baron. So I'm gonna I'm stick with that for now, but <laughs> I just, I miss Horace and Halt 
so much because in the later books you mostly see Maddie and a little bit of Will, but we are getting a full halt in Horace chapters and I'm living for it. Oh my god, the bombshell that just dropped in this chapter. I am I am in shock. I am literally I don't know how I'm going to recover from this. Let me Oh my god. I I literally am not going to be able to recover this. Okay. Let me read this this uh, paragraph to you. It has been long rumored around Castle Redmont that Halt cut his hair and beard with his sax. In truth, he had always used a pair of shears. But his tonsorial skills were sadly lacking and the results was always rough and uneven. For this reason, he had fostered the myth that he used a sax, allowing it to gain credence. Nobody would expect a tidy result if he did it that way. Whereas, if word got around that he used shears, people might make fun of his lack of skill. Holt doesn't use a sax knife to cut his beard. He just sucks at shaving. <laughs> Will fucking knew as well. Will smiled. He had lived with Halt for five years during his apprenticeship and knew the secret of his old mentor's haircut, but he had kept the facts a secret. <laughs> Will fucking knew that Halt was lying. <laughs> Will shrugged and smiled. And what's the first rule between masters and apprentices? He asked her. She heaved a deep sigh. If a job is dirty and unpleasant or uncomfortable, it's a job for the apprentice. She replied. <laughs> I 100% think that Will got that from Hull. There's no doubt about that. This book is serving me everything. Like, everything I could have ever wanted. We just got a horse stool. Like, oh my gosh. And then freaking bitchy ass Baron tried to attack Horace on the back. And the three rangers shot within the same heartbeat. Three arrows thudded into bitchy ass Baron. The force of the triple impact hurtling him sideways. And that entire battle was so satisfying because we've never got to see like Horace fight as like an adult really. Like yes, but not as like this far into the future. And he is still an absolute badass and I love it so much. And I like have barely any of this book left. Like I have flown through this book. I have that little tiny sliver left. And I, I just, I don't know what's happening. I don't know how they're gonna resolve this in so few pages. <sighs> I wanted to see them home. I thought I was gonna see them home. And instead I get them leaving and then that's it. But all in all, I really enjoyed this book. Um, holy heck. This book served everything. And I might be a little bit biased because it had Halt in it and it had Horace in it and it had more Will and Maddie. It just gave us all the old characters and I love them all so dearly and just five out of five, 10 out of 10. I just, I love this. I loved it. I loved it. I did. Um, I like how they did everything. I was really curious on how they would escape. I knew that Halt was definitely going to be interacting, but I didn't expect the surprise Horus appearance and I'm not complaining. But that is going to be it for today's reading vlog. I hope you enjoyed seeing my reread of book four and my new book five read. Mm, I am obsessed. With this ending, it feels like there's definitely gonna be more in the Royal Ranger series. So that means more Maddie and more Will, but that's gonna be it for now. And I hope you enjoyed this reading vlog. I've never done a sort of reading vlog before on this channel and it was kind of fun. So I might do more. I don't know. But that's going to be it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Toodles.